Hi, this is Mike Green with Transax 2 Minute Warning for the week of October 31st. In this week's 2 Minute Warning, we're taking a look at three things that could have a significant impact on your freight cost and supply chain activities for the remainder of the fourth quarter of 2022 and on into 2023. The last couple of weeks have been eventful weeks for shippers, and that's because some things that have happened will definitely have an impact on your freight costs for the remainder of the fourth quarter of 2022 and on into 2023, and could also potentially be disruptive for your supply chains. Let's jump right in and cover what those three things are. First, last week we learned that UPS has announced a general rate increase heading into the new year. That general rate increase will be similar to what FedEx proposed, 6.9%. But that's just the tip of the iceberg because what we've also seen is that with their proposed increases in certain accessorial charges, a lot of shippers could be seeing double digit increases to use both FedEx and UPS. Now there are some things that you can do to potentially mitigate those increases. You simply need to send us an email or give us a call to explore what those things would look like. The second thing that we learned is that the another railroad union has voted down the proposed contract from the railroads. Now this is a sticky wicket, but there are 11 unions that must sign off with the proposed contract from the railroads. Here's why this is an issue, because the things that are causing them to vote the down are not not necessarily monetarily related items. They have to deal with time off and sick leave issues. Now, the reason that's important is because the railroads cut a lot of people with COVID and all. They don't have enough workers as it is. And if they were to agree to these demands for sick leave or additional time off, it would raise concerns about how they would be able to maintain some service levels, which are already under duress. Now, the third and final thing that you need to be aware of is what's going on in the diesel market. The American Trucking Research Association, which is a great independent organization that's affiliated with the American Trucking Association, has said that the price of diesel is the number one concern for truckers. Now, what this means for shippers is that you're going to see higher fuel surcharges as the increase of cost of diesel gets passed on to shippers. Now, there are some things that you can do with respect to adjusting your fuel surcharge formulas. We're experts in this area. Like I said before, you need to just send me an email or give us a call. We'll share with you some ideas that could potentially mitigate a portion of these increases. Now, we make all of this information available to you because with each and every two minute warning, we're here to remind you we are on your team. We're here to help and we're passionate about seeing you be successful. Thanks for your time.